couple of minutes here before the market open. And this is for trading for September 19th, 2018. With about one minute to go before the open here. What I'm going to do is I want to record the charts at the open. I'm going to try and make a series out of this mistake that I made. And you can see the stock right there. They are passing in the ticker here, the cannabis stocks. We'll see how they are going to trade for the rest of the day. But what I'm going to do is make a series out of this, at the very least, as an educational process. We're going to try and see whether down the road we can actually find a better entry in terms of at some point they're going to pull back because of this massive, massive move that the marijuana cannabis space has had. So as we get close to the open here, we'll take a look at the chart. And again, I might have a couple of videos, maybe one or more after this one. This is the third one. And see whether we can correct this mistake from an educational standpoint. See whether we can get the timing correct as of a way of timing the next major trend potentially which would be lower so this is yesterday's close september the 18th i'm just gonna quickly update this to show today's massive gap up and you can see here already a huge reversal so the high is at 237 for the day into a day low is at 187 184 so this is going to play out. Somebody's going to get hurt here either way. So it's not one to for the faint of heart. Let's take a look here. See what we have in terms of... Let's go to the two hourly. So that's the daily. And the two hourly. Right now trading at 188. But keep in mind, this is not where you want to try and get a short position even if you are looking for that kind of a trade. The reason, again, is very obvious. We've been talking about this. As long as the short-term charts are above 69.1, the risk is that this continues trading higher, even though it might pull back minute to minute. But hour to hour, it should continue being strong as long as the RSI is above 69.1. All right, let's take a look at the other instruments that are also moving. In step with this massive move the other one is the sector ETF MJ and this again now you know the one thing that I can say here is even with this gap up you'll notice that the RSI is not above 69.1 so I would say that this is still forming negative divergence in fact it starts getting interesting here with this uptick, a massive move higher, but we are still trading with the possibility of declining technical strength. The RSI, as we can see, has yet to reclaim the level above 69.1. So you know what? This is looking interesting. This negative divergence might be the stage for the pullback. Let's take a look at the daily for MJ. Go to the daily here. All right, so the daily is above 69.1. Correct that. So as long as the daily is above 69.1, unless it was to reverse by end of day, as long as the daily is above 69.1, we have to give the benefit of the doubt to continued upward price action. What I'm saying here is that the two hourly is starting to look suspect especially if the two hourly is unable to hold or is unable to stay above 69.1 this might be where things get interesting especially if we get a pullback here confirming double top rsi 69.1 uniform activity rejection this is setting the stage for possibility of a move lower let's take a look at CGC at this gap up open and again you can see here again the RSI not where you'd expect it to be you can see here it is coming back to test and challenge Let's see here 
challenge this breakpoint of that high. We got a warning drop. We came back and now we are testing the same line. Failure to move above this line, confirmation of resistance on this line, hour to hour, will suggest that around here, CGC is looking like a short at about 54. As long as we see confirmation here. Now keep in mind, let's take a look at the daily. Now the daily is okay in terms of possibility of a reversal lower because why? Because the daily is not above 69.1. So I would go here as far as CGC is concerned. If we take a look at the two hourly, this could be the stage of the setup for a pullback. Keep in mind, as of yesterday, I was talking about the MACDs. And we had already seen a massive let off here on the MACDs. Now just moving above zero. The last thing bulls want to see is a recoil back below zero. So something to watch. But that hourly, two hourly chart, negative divergence. Now remember on an hour to hour basis, if you take the hourly close there, this is a breakout. So if this breakout to new highs is coming with declining RSI strength, and especially if the RSI is rejected around here, which happens to be around 61.8, that would set the stage for a pullback, maybe even a major, major high. Let's take a look at the, the other one, C-R-O-O-N. And again, here we are attempting a breakout. And interestingly enough, the more this fails, the more we see confirmation of resistance around the 61.8 level. The more this might actually be setting the stage for a pullback. So it could be that they are gapping up an exhaustive gap this morning. But let me take a look at the daily here, an exhaustive gap that eventually resolves lower. So we can see here that the breakout for C, C R O N is taking place. And that breakout is at 1274. As of right now, we can see that it is slightly above that. But now here's a, here's, a, here's a kicker. If this breakout fails, given the hourly chart, also given that this might be what the RSI is coming to test, if this is rejected, then this is where you can look for an opportunity to short. Now, obviously, it's a scary situation because you don't want to, you know, walk into another massive gap up the next couple of days. But let's take a look at CGC, see what the daily looks like in terms of a breakout possibility. All right. So what we can also see here is if we take a look at CGC, take a look at the recent daily closing high, we can also set a trap here for a failed breakout. All right. And actually, this might actually be the best way of looking at this. So this might actually be just the last video in this series. I thought I would have more, but I think we found something here. Or oh, I just kind of realized there's a way to approach this, which would be my preferred method for now. So 53.30. So if CGC fails to hold this level, I would say it's time to short it. If it fails to hold this level, time to short, given the hourly chart. And you'd want to see confirmation by CRON also failing to break out above 12.74, which is happening right now. So this is already looking like it is starting to look like this is a reversal territory. It's very risky given the massive gap up, but sometimes you, want, you have to walk into what looks to be a scary situation because that's the opportunity when everybody's back. 
when everybody's buying, then that's when there's an opportunity for a major reversal lower. So I would say the way you can trap this is, in fact, let me take a look at one more thing. Take a look at MJ. All right, so MJ is already breaking out. All right, that's fine. But I'm going to go with this too. Now, the reason why, now, let, let me explain something here. I need to explain this because the series is about fundamental error. Avoid shorting MJ for now because it is above 69.1 unless it reverses and is below 69.1 but for now as long as it is above 69.1 ignore this do not even try to short this let it be t l r y is also not a short this one you can ignore why Again, because it is above 69.1. Too strong. Just let it be. But now, I think there's an opportunity here. If the following two things both happen, both have to confirm. Not one of them, but both of them. You'd want both to confirm to show that it is not just one of the, of the sector. So, what, number one. CGC breakout above 53.30 would have to fail this would have to fail as number one requirement at the same time you'd want to see confirmation that CRON has failed to break out above its recent August daily closing high so number two would be you want to see this back below 12.74 which is happening right now so number one is already taking place the daily breakout is failing all we need here is the second phase is for CGC to fail to hold the breakout above 53.30 once this is below 53.30 and CRO, CRON is also failing, then you can short either this one or you can short CGC. Hope that makes sense. But for this, to short either CRON or to short CGC, you need failed breakout on both of them. Hope that makes sense. If one of them is failing to break out, if the other one is successful, success, successfully breaking out there, then you don't short. But if both of, if both of them are failing to hold their breakout levels based on what we've seen on the hourly charts, again, we go back to the two hourly. I believe these two hourly charts are setting the stage for a pullback. As you can see, coming back to test a recent RSI breakpoint. Don't forget, we also have declining RSI strength for CGC. And if you take a look at CRON, we can also see that it is giving us this look. Decline as we try to move higher. So to make this both cells, let me just I wanna emphasize this. We ignore the ones that are trading above 69.1 which is T-L-R-Y, just let it be. And we ignore the ones, we ignore MJ. But we take a look at CGC and also C-R-O-N. As long as both of them are failing to hold their breakout levels of 53.30, and for that is for CGC and 12.74 for CRON. Once both of them are below these price levels, you can short either of them. Hope that makes sense. Let me stop right there. Eric Mwadith, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see.